Hey guys, welcome to another review. This review is on Opal, the third book in the Lux series. And this has to be my favorite book in the series. So if you guys don't know what this book this book series is about, I will link the first book review um, down in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, and if you guys haven't read Opal, which is the third book, um, I would leave now because I'm going to go straight into spoilers. Bye non-spoiler people! Alright, so Opal. Has to be my favorite book in the series. 5 out of 5 stars. And I love, oh my gosh, okay, so the ending. I can't get over the ending. It was, it was perfect. It was, oh, it, okay, it wasn't perfect. That was heart-wrenching. But, okay, so, they're running away and Blake betrays them. Shocker. Because we didn't see that coming. Damon is... Katie gets locked up in like the shield thing and Damon is trying to get her out and Matthew is trying to pull him away and he's trying, Damon is trying so hard to get Katie out and he is, he is being pulled away and oh my gosh and he says, oh my god, okay I have to, I have to read it because it has to be perfect, it's be exactly what he says, like seriously. It was just, it was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> uh, so they're finally together. Like seriously. It's about dang time. And oh my gosh. I just loved this book so much. Uh, so much. I loved it so much. Oh, it's at the end and he's being pulled away. He's like I love you, Katie. Always have, always will. His voice was thick and hoarse in panic. Um, I will come back for you. I will. Oh my god, I loved it. And it was the ending. It was so, like, intense. And you're just like... <sighs> <sighs> like, seriously, like, come on. I've been loved this book. It was my favorite. Okay, so my favorite part would have to be when they're meeting Luce. I think that's his name because Damon was laughing about it, but it might have been Luke. Um, they're going to see him for the second time, and he's like, are you hungry? And she's like, I want a Happy Meal. And he's like, Happy Meal? And she was like, yeah, a Happy Meal. And she's like, the boys' toys are always cooler. And he gets her the <laughs> he gets her the Happy Meal that's at the boys' toy. And she's like, he even got the boy one. I was dying. I don't know how many times I left out loud during this book. I flip and love Damon so much. And I wish Blake would have died in Onyx, but he didn't because it's stupid. They're trying to build up a tongue. Okay, so the first thing that runs through my head is, what were they thinking? Like, hello? They should have known that it was going to happen. They should have known that something was going to happen when they were trying to break into the house or the um, Mount Weather or whatever it's called. They should have known that something was going to happen. It couldn't be that easily, easy, but seriously. And then so they have to break, build up a tolerance and Blake is like, well, maybe we could do that. And I'm like, you're a jerk. And I wish Kitty would give you the middle finger, which does Damon. But that's their thing. So, no. Makes me so mad. Oh my god, Dawson. I love Dawson. So this book starts out really, really weird. I mean, we have Dawson sitting in her room, but he opens up to her. He doesn't open up to anybody, and he just opens up to her. And that was a really cool scene because it shows that he likes her and can trust her and stuff. And um, I really liked how he confided in Katie. Um, I kind of wish that he did in his own family, but he confided in Katie, and it was really cool because we got to just see him open up and be honest and be honest with himself and it was just it was really cool to see and I really love Dawson I'm so sad that he had to go through what he did go through um I mean I I love Dawson I love him um I mean I don't know much enough about him to love him as much as Damon um because if I had to choose between Damon and Dawson I would definitely choose Damon even though Dawson is a sweetheart and my favorite scene, my, like, this got me so choked up, was the scene where they're watching, um, zombie movies, and he's talking, and he's having fun, and Damon goes and gets some more popcorn, and Dawson is, like, they're talking about, he opens up to Katie about what happened, or some of the things that happened, and where he was, and then she t changes the subject, and he talks about how Sundays, 
or Saturdays, him and Damon would watch Ghost um, Investigators. And um, he's like, I would really like to watch it with you. And he's like, that'd be really cool. And, you know, Damon gets all fuzzy and warm inside. And, <laughs> and I love it. <sighs> and Damon, like, comes and holds her hand and smiles. And, oh, they're like, oh. And, oh my god, I, I can't believe I almost forgot about this. Will is dead. Finally, he is dead. Like, seriously, come on, it's about dang time. And I felt really bad for Katie because she's, like, freaking out. Like, I killed somebody. And then, but it, it's okay. He deserved it. He was going to kill her, too. <sighs> yeah, things on it anyway. Okay, so Kubrissa is dead. I'm really sad about this because I picture Kubrissa as Lucy Hale. I have no idea why. Um, but I do. That's just the face that kept popping up. So seeing Lucy Hale, because she's one of my favorite actresses, die, it was like, crap. Like, seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys want to know something funny? Okay, so for me, I have no idea why, but I've been watching The Secret Circle. Okay, so I know I've been watching that because it's a cool show. But Thomas Decker, he plays Adam in the show, kept popping up for Damon. But he kept popping up Thomas Decker for Damon, and he doesn't look anything like Damon. And, yeah, you know, there's perfect other people who could have easily played Damon, but Thomas Decker just kept popping up, and I'm like... Because he kept saying stuff, he'd feel sweet and romantic, and I'm like, oh, this is Damon. Or he'd say something snarky and sarcastic, and I'm like, Damon. Like, that's all I saw. I also saw Bella Thorne for Lisa. Like, that was, I was like, wait, what? Like, really? Because she's kind of a, you know, slut. And I kept seeing Bella Thorne, and it was just funny. Um... Yeah, weird stuff <laughs> it just runs through my head, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds good, and then I say it out loud, I'm like, okay, that sounds insane. Yeah. Um, but overall, this is my favorite book in the series. Um, these reviews are kind of rambly, but I love this series so much. I'm on Origin, I'm over halfway done with Origin, and oh my gosh, let me just tell you, drama, like drama, 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 like oh my goodness. Um... That is it for this book review, though I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and yeah, I know it's kind of sprawled out. Um, check out my Onyx review, I will link it down below, along with my Obsidian review, along with Erica's last video. Hope you guys are enjoying these book reviews. I am back and bookier than ever, as you can, as you saw for the title of my book review, or my book haul. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, I will also link that down below so definitely go check out the description for some fun videos um for mine and from erica i'll link her book haul down below too she gets really really excited and it's really funny to see her like that <laughs> other than that i'm gonna go i will see you guys in my next video so i'll see you guys next week okay guys bye